This is the Channel 4 News Midday Report. They are protesting for choice and a voice in who controls the future of LAUSD schools. The board is set to take a crucial vote just a few hours from now that would allow outside organizations to manage some of the schools. It's a contentious issue on both sides. Good morning, I'm Kim Baldonado. The LA School Board is set to vote later today on a controversial school choice plan. The proposal would allow private charter groups and others to operate dozens of new LA schools, plus some considered failing schools. NBC 4's John Caddy's Klimak is live at LAUSD headquarters in downtown LA with the latest on the fight over the control of education in LA. John. Hi, Kim. This, I guess you could consider the pre-show. Folks on both sides of this issue out here today, you can see behind me the folks that are in the blue shirts. These are the ones that want to see this proposal pass. Just around the corner here and then further down the block are the folks in the red shirts. Those are the ones who do not want to see this pass. As you can see, a lot of folks on different sides of this issue, but a decision that could be made today that will have a big impact on students in L.A. An emotion-fueled protest outside Los Angeles Unified School District offices just before the school board is set to vote on a proposal that would allow the privatization of some schools, causing what some hope to be good competition. As the schools start improving, they'll start competing with each other. And what will happen is for a school to be successful, they'll have to provide a better education for the children. Fifty new schools are expected to come online in the next three years, and many more are getting backing from parents who want to see drastic changes in their kids' education. LAUSD Superintendent Ramon Cortez says the proposal for new charter schools is a win-win. I do not see them as the enemy. I see them as a choice for parents in this city. If approved by the board, any school wishing to become a charter or magnet school has to then be ready for review every three to five years. If academics improve, they can continue. If it does not, the LAUSD can take it over again. I have never seen it as giving away something. I've seen it as a partnership looking at the best practices of the district, the best practices of some of the charters, and how we might improve uh, the delivery of education for, uh, for some young people uh, that are having it very difficult in school. But opponents say the district is handing off its problems and setting a precedent that it can't fix. This is a terrible proposal. It's uh, Yoli Flores Aguilar and uh, Monica Garcia abrogating their responsibilities and just giving schools away. A.J. Duffy with the Teachers Union says change is necessary in the LAUSD, but not this and not now. The dropout rate is down 15 percent and the graduation rate is up nearly 8 percent and more students are passing the exit exam sooner. So what are we doing wrong here? We are improving. So here are the scheduled events. At about 12.30, there is a rally taking place outside the LAUSD headquarters. Some of the roads here have already been closed off. LAPD on scene, as well as quite a few officers from the school district uh, taking all, all taking part in that as well. And then at 1 o'clock is when the school board will be discussing this. By 2 o'clock this afternoon, we should have a decision. The way we're seeing it so far is that two board members are for this, two are against it, and the others are still up in the air. Kim? Yeah, and the two that are for it are the ones that were backed by Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa. The two against are, were backed by the union. So clearly a, a political battle waging here, not just an educational one as well, John. That's true, and it's going to affect about 200,000 students if this proposal does actually go through. So a lot of the folks that are here are parents, and still parents on both sides of this issue. Some of them will say the school district itself needs to be the ones that needs to fix any of these problems that they're having, and then the other parents who are saying that, well, we want to try to do it all on our own so that there is competition between schools that could eventually kind of have an impact on education and maybe even make it better. And I just want to clarify, John, I think some people might hear the word privatization and think that these are going to be private schools. There's still public schools. Charters are still public schools with public funding. They just operate independently from the larger district. Yeah, that's true. And one of the also uh, very important points about this is that even though somebody might want to have a charter school, doesn't necessarily mean they're going to get it. They have to go to the school board. It has to be approved because they have to have a proposal that has a specific plan as to how they're going to make these changes and what kind of improvements they expect to see. All right, John, we will be following this throughout the day, of course, and have the latest on the Channel 4 News at 5 and 6. Thanks, John. Now, this is the Fox 11 News at noon.
Hello, everybody. I'm Jim Martirez. And I'm Lisa Breckenridge. Here's what's happening right now. A battle is brewing down at LAUSD headquarters. Yeah, dozens of new schools on tap to open next year. And Mayor Viragosa wants to change how those schools are run. It's a really emotional, hot button issue. Gina Silva there in downtown LA with details for us. And again, all of this tension mounting as the meeting hasn't even begun yet, right, Gina? It, no, it hasn't, but a lot of people are already inside, but still outside. Take a look at this. The line just goes on and on and on. To show you right over here, uh, there are people with so many different sides. This is opposing the change for the schools. And if you just sh pan over there, Roger, I mean, what is at stake here are 50 new schools that are scheduled to open up to next year, another 200 schools that aren't doing so well. And the question is, who will run these schools? It's a question that will be answered later this morning. Today, the LA School Board is set to vote on a resolution that will allow private groups to bid on control of the new schools. Mayor Villarregosa, as you mentioned, he has been very vocal about this, saying that now is the time for private ownership. He says the change would improve education by bringing in new ideas. Opponents say the plan would allow a small number of charter operators to bid for control of schools, and they want to open the bids to more organizations. They are vowing to file an injunction if this passes. Again, Again, this resolution is, you know, it needs four votes in order for it to pass. They won't be voting on it um, until about two o'clock, maybe a little bit past two o'clock. But people have been out here since about five in the morning, and the line just keeps on growing and growing. Let me show you across the street um, here, back here live. There are several police officers here. They're all over the street because a couple of times the two two groups have been. Uh, it's gotten heated between the two, and so the, the officers are here to keep the peace. Again, the inside the LAUSD board, uh, it is just packed, packed, and everyone out here is waiting to go inside. But uh, this group here, let me talk to them real quick. Hi there. Hi. You are against uh, privatization of the schools? I am against this particular measure because it's trying to do something that's really undermining what we in public schools have done. What should be done? We believe we need reform, but we need reform that comes in a comprehensive packet that involves all stakeholders, parents. I'm very disturbed that a lot of the parents here are not actually representing the communities where the schools are housed. Stop, stop, stop. That makes me a little scared because they are claiming that they're going to service the populations where the schools are built. I doubt that. Okay, There's nothing in their plan that says it. Thank Good you. luck to you. Thank you. Thank that is you. one opposing view. The other view, of course, is that change needs to be done, and they are voting for or hoping that the vote will go for a privatization of schools, making them into charter schools. Very strong opinions on both sides. It'll, the vote will happen sometime after 2 o'clock. We'll be here and we'll uh, definitely have all of the information for you. Back hey, to you guys in the studio. Gina, any early read on what people have been saying as far as how the board might possibly vote? Again, they need four votes in favor. They do need four votes in favor. It is very divided, and there are two people on the board that no one is sure how they're going to go. So, you know, it really could go either way. Oh, the drama, the drama. Okay, Gina yeah. Silva, thanks. Meanwhile, a woman is being.